Today's workout is going to start off with a three round warm up. I know that you're all used to these three round warm ups now. This one here is going to be 10 bent over rows on each arm and then 30 high knees just in place. Those bent over rows, you can get to that any way you want, but and you can put your hand on the, uh, your thigh to kind of hold yourself up. It doesn't really matter. More about the pulling motion here to warm up. So make sure that you get full extension of the arm and then pull with the dumbbell all the way to the chest. 10 reps there, 10 reps here, and then go into your high knees. I usually just place my palms out in front of me so that I can get a good uh, uh, distance here. Try not to put your palms down so you're barely lifting the legs. All right, so high knees in place. These are 30 one count high knees. After three rounds, you're gonna do jack in the box. You got 25 ring row substitutes. So you'll be under that kitchen table. Make sure you're pulling that table all the way to the chest. Try to get contact with the body up to the table if possible. But regardless, it's a full range of motion. So you want to be able to get those elbows back and squeeze those shoulder blades together. And then 250 singles or 125 jumping jacks. So those jumping jacks, remember, you want to go from the thigh. So the arms come from all the way down low, all the way up high overhead. So you're making contact here and here. One last thing about the jumping jack is just to make sure you're getting out wide enough. And the way that I like to judge that is just to say, let's get our feet beyond the shoulders. It's not too far, but I know some people kind of like to get this real tiny little hop. So really try to move those legs so you get a proper uh, movement in there. Uh, and that's it as far as Jack in the Box goes. So with that said, I'm out of here.